viewers uh, i am ataul karim patwari in this video i would like to show you how to do mahalanobis test you do this test for in order to measure the multivariate outlier in our data so and uh, i want to show you a step by step process so the first of all in in my data set i have five independent variables five predictors which is limited time Un unfamiliarity, limited communication, limited involvement, and positive holiday mode. And overall satisfaction, this is my dependent variable. So first of all, I already created the mean value for my variables because uh, I measured this variable by Likert scale. So I already have the mean value for all these variables. So let me show, show you the first step of doing the Mahalanobis test. So we go to analyze and then regression and linear. Here you, uh, we have to select the independent and dependent variables. So let me show you from the beginning. The independent variables, I have these five. So independent variable, and this is my dependent variable. So we check one by one statistics. So nothing to change here, just continue. The plot also just continue. And the same in here, we need to change. Usually this will be this will be shown as unmarked, but in our case, we want to be test. So we have to mark this. So then continue after this, okay. Okay, so let's go to the data set. So just now we have only five independent variables and one dependent variables in our data set. Now we, you can see there is a new variable which is called MAH, Mahalanobis. So we go to the next step, then we can look at very, look at very details about the multivariate outlier. So next step will be transform the compute variables. So this one I want to show you from beginning. Okay, at first you can name your variable. The target variable may maybe Maha. Okay. So after that you have to choose here all. In the function group you choose all. So then you come here. Then you choose here CDF chi square. So if you double click here, the functions will automatically go to the impression. Expression, sorry function will automatically go there so just double click here okay if you double click it will go automatically so after this there is two question mark if you can have a look there is two question mark the first one you have to take that mahalanobis distance and the second one you need to you need to put the degrees of freedom that is we call df values degrees of freedom so let me show you the first one how to choose you just take this one and put here after that you can delete the question mark that is the first one so there is another way to so, uh, select this one you can just double click here it will automatically go there double click okay it will go there for the second one degrees of freedom as before in my case I have five independent variables and one dependent variables. So that means my degrees of freedom is five. But for your case, if you have two independent variables, that means your degrees of freedom will be two. That means you have two predictors. But for my case, I have five predictors. Those are independent variables. So I will take it as five. I will put here five. So that is my degrees of freedom. So now after this, okay, that's okay. So now go to your data set again. So now you can see that there is a new variable created for Mahalanobis. So uh, here is only two values. So we want to look at details. So if you want to look at details, so you go to the data variable view after that you increase the decimal so now here is decimal is only two so you can increase the decimal five then you can 
have a detailed look on your multivariate outlier. So in the multivariate outlier, if you have any values that is 0 0.000, that means you have the outlier. But in this case, we do not have any value which is 0 0.000. This one is very close, but it's still not up to there. And for the other value, we don't have any values which is 0 0.000. So that means in this data set, we do not have any multivariate outlier. So that's all for this video. So if you want to know anything more, you can uh, comment in the comment box. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel and I will come up with new videos. And you can give this, give some suggestion what kind of video you want. So I can uh, help you to create the video. Thank you so much. That's all for today.